Hi everybody, I'm Sips. Welcome to part 11 of my Adam Zombie Smasher playthrough. Oh boy, here we go. Um, God, sorry about the technical difficulties on the, uh, on the last episode. That wasn't the best. Uh, but here we are. This is the this is the new state of play, and uh, and we're not doing too bad actually. We've got um, what do we got? We got a decent enough uh, roster. Uh, not the best. We don't have any uh, artillery, so let's try to take over. Um, one of these uh, these level two territories. Let's go for this one so that we can isolate these two areas, and uh, that should be a good way to start episode eleven. Um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna try to take this too. We're not gonna uh, we're not gonna let it get neutralized or whatever. We want all these territories now. So um, we got we got the pleasant pheasant, we got Winston's, we got barricades, we got moon prunes, and we got farts. So this shouldn't really be a problem. Um, we got Zed coming out of both sides uh, here, uh, three over here, and then and then two here. Uh, so let's get the uh, evac chopper, the pleasant pheasant, right in the middle there. That'll be nice. Um, let's also get some barricades set up. So we want to contain uh, the Zed uh, in this sort of area. Well, these for these three for sure, uh, and then we can probably put the uh, army of Winston's. Um, put a barricade here. And we'll put one here so that these two lanes come into this choke and then the uh, the Winstons can take them. We'll also put barricade here and God, there's there's not much we can do down here really because these, these Zed that are coming out of here can go into this grassy area. And this could be a little bit of a problem actually. And uh, maybe we'd be better off actually getting our Winstons uh, set up down here and then they can chase out these two um, Furies here. So let's get a barricade here. Uh, We'll we'll keep the barricades here because we'll get these guys to, to funnel into here, and um, we'll hit them with um, with mines with moon prunes. And uh, if we need to, we'll use the farts to sort of um, get them away. We'll get our Winston's set up in here for now, and um, we're gonna have to move them pretty quickly. We want them probably here so that they can cover up here when these guys come around the corner, and then they can just start smoking these guys as they come out too. Um, we got one more barricade that we can put down as well, so um, let's put that here so that these guys don't um, start kind of getting out of control and, and going around here. This this way, if we've got all these these Zeds coming down, uh, funneling into the uh, into the army of Winston's, and that should be fine. We'll also get some uh, some moon prunes set up uh, over here. I think we we want to try to take out this column if we can and it's a shorter daytime today too so got to be pretty careful let's uh let's get some moon prunes here we'll also get some moon prunes uh in this in intersection thing here so when these two meet uh we can take out a lot of them and then any that get by will will blow them up uh further along the road here that uh, for these guys as well let's um anything that does survive let's blow them up uh, as they get by um we'll move the the uh, army of Winston's in closer to where the pleasant pheasant's going to land after, and uh, hopefully, hopefully that does it. Let's see. Let's pray. There we go. Here they come. And oh shit, I keep forgetting about these big guys. God, they're such a problem. They're just such a massive problem. I'm just going to slow the game speed down to 70%. I don't want it to go too, too fast. And uh, these Winston's, they need to start. Stop shooting the big guy and start shooting the little guys. Okay, here we go. We've got some catbird action. Let's uh, let's drop it on these guys because we need to get these big guys. Oh my god, I just smoked the Winstons. Uh, but I took the big guys as well. Uh, we're probably going to have to retry this. And uh, I didn't even use the farts there. That was a bit of a disaster. So let's uh, it's F9 and, and restart. Uh, we'll hit OK. We're going to move the Winstons into here, like I said uh, initially. Then we're going to get all of these moon prunes um, out of here. We don't want them up here anymore. We want them down here. Uh, we want to take out um, all of these guys as they come out. So let's, uh, let's get some here. And let's also, we don't need these now either. Let's get some uh, here. And hopefully we can get these big guys as they come out. And uh, we'll have to reposition our army of winston's over there uh, as well so we'll leave the army of winston's here to get these two columns and then we'll concentrate the farts and everything over here and get the catbird to sort of hopefully mop up the rest of it and we don't need to worry about the gas line because it's way down there so it's it's not a huge problem uh, let's also move the um 
the evac chopper back uh, one street so we can get some of these guys out and uh, let's see how we do. Shit on a duck. All right, here we go. Big guys out of the other side as we knew they would. Try to attract all these, oh no. Oh yeah, no, he, he made it. We got a couple of scientists and here they come. We got the army of Winston's there and we'll, uh, we'll get the farts in a second. We wanna try to get some kills here. There go the mines. And here go the other mines. Hopefully in a minute. Yeah. Let's get the farts down. We're about to get the cat bird. Oh my god, we could do this. We can do this. I think we Oh, I think we're gonna get this. Come on, cat bird. This is gonna be close. It's gonna come right down to the wire. And uh, oh yes! That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you get a gold medal. Yeah. All right. 580 points for that. That's that's really good considering that was a level two. Z infections one. Sons of bitches. Take that. Moon prunes are upgraded, which is fantastic. Great stuff. We'll select our upgrades. We'll uh, we'll get more moon prunes. We can get five now. It just fills me with delight. I love that. I really like that. And uh, take that, Zed. You stupid bastards. Look at that. 634 points. We're coming back. Capture that territory. All about capturing territories now. And uh, isolating all these ones that are, are joined up together. God, look at all the points that we're getting. Oh my god. We've almost got this. We're very close. And uh, Zed just ahead by 471 points. Fantastic stuff. So, uh, slower Zed movement for this round, which is very good. Ah, Jesus. That's, that wasn't very good. That wasn't very nice. Um, we got... Jeez, we still don't have any, uh, any artillery. So we're gonna have to, uh, once again, I think with that loadout, um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go for one of these level twos. And, uh, let's, let's go for this one, because it's the only other one that's, that's joined on to anything. I'm not too worried about that, um, for now. So, um... Oh my god. Before I do that, though, into the research lab. Oh shit. And, uh... <laughs> I'll upgrade the artillery uh, one more time. We, we've maxed it out. We, we can't upgrade our artillery any more than that. And that that's fantastic. That's good news. Um, which leaves us with eight research points. Which we won't use straight away. Because we can't, we can't upgrade anything with eight points, sadly. But, um... Let's, uh, let's evacuate Las Aguapo. This, uh, this should be interesting. The loadout isn't, uh, isn't amazing. Um, we're going to have to use barricades to sort of get the Zed to, um, to move their, their water-soaked um, shoes and pants, shamble in, into a, a sort of corralled area, um, lure them in with the fart canisters, and then just just blow the living shit out of them with uh, with dynamite and moon prunes and hopefully the catbird as well that would be nice uh, and we got to be really careful too because look at all these uh, look at all these gas lines too really we want to get the uh, pleasant pheasant somewhere like here um, if possible um, yeah I think that'll be nice actually and we'll get a barricade uh, set up here and we'll also uh, God this is going to be a tricky one actually these guys gonna have to come all the way up around here and get back through here so really we want to make sure that these guys are all in some sort of central location if possible so um, get a barricade here and here as well all these guys are gonna have to come down and around here and um, think if we can we'll try to lure them all together with farts all of these columns here including maybe this one get them close to here and then with some dynamite, we'll, we'll explode the gas line. That'd be nice. Um, that would be very nice. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with the rest of all this crap, but, uh, but we'll see. Uh, let's also get a barricade uh, set up here, so that these, can't, these guys can't just beeline up here uh, to where our helicopter landing pad is. And uh, lastly, well, I suppose actually the only way that all of these guys can get in is, is in this middle area. And I really wish we had some infantry or whatever. But uh, because we don't have any infantry, we'll get some moon prunes set up in there uh, just in case. Or just for when they do go in. Although there's not going to be much of the city left once, once this stupid gas line goes. So um, we'll also get some moon prunes set up uh, here to try to take out as many of these guys as we can. And then for any of the other ones that survive past that, uh, we'll trigger off some other mines. And then just in case they actually do make it up 
here. Um, by the time they do get up here, actually, we've got another barricade. We don't want these guys going, straying off into this area. So if they do make it up here, we'll get some dynamite off, and uh, hopefully we can time the dynamite well. I don't think we're going to be able to, really, but uh, let's get some dynamite there, too. And, um, and just, just for good measure, in case they do start getting in into here, we'll, uh, we'll get some dynamite there and there. And let's also get some dynamite just in here, just in case. Um, I don't, I don't know if that's really going to work, but uh, but we'll see, we'll see. And uh, we still got some more uh, moon prunes that we can get. So let's try to uh, let's try to wipe out as many of these guys as we can uh, as they come out. And uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll trigger that. And uh, these guys should definitely trigger this one. And um, I got my my fart canister. I think that's about as good as I can do, so... Christ, who knows? Let's just go. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Got my fart canisters. Here come the big bastards. And, uh, God, I hate those big bastards. So, really, I think what we want to do straight away is, uh, is try to lure these guys. Actually, no, we want to lure all these guys over here. And good thing they're moving so slow. Ah, that building is, uh, is gone. And, uh, well, jeez, let's just detonate the dynamite now. It's uh, as good as we're going to get it. Lure these guys in. Oh, my God. There goes the uh, there goes the entire city. That did not work out very well. Oh, look at these guys still going for the moon prunes. Oh, got a lot of them there. That was very good. Uh, all we need to do now is get the cat bird down and hopefully ice all, all of these guys. Uh, mines, farts... And if we can get away, we're going to get the catbird. Catbird. Here we go. Whew. This is going to be very close. This is going to be very close. And uh, we might have to retry this. Uh, because I don't have anything that I can do to... Uh, well, I got farts, actually. And uh, this guy's going to save us. No, he's not, actually. It's going to turn nighttime too soon. Okay. Gonna have to have to rejig. I think the dynamite needs to be rejigged a little bit. And um, God, these guys are moving really slow too. We want to get these guys here and then we want to get them here again because they just they just take for friggin ever to get there. It's so annoying. Um, these guys as well we need to take out um, as they come around the corner here. Um, it's no use really putting it in there. And then with the dynamite too, um, let's get rid of these, and uh, for anything that does get here, we'll uh, try to ice them with some dynamite. Uh, we'll try to ice them, anything that gets by here. Did anything get by there? I think they did, actually. That didn't really work out either, uh, thinking about it. And, okay, the problem was we had a whole bunch of guys up here, so that meant that these these two columns here, basically, so hopefully that's enough to take them out. Uh, we should be able to take them out with the gas. God, that gas line just caused a lot of problems. And um, let's get a dynamite here just in case. And uh, they were here too, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Okay, I'm going to get a dynamite there and see. I might have to retry this again, but but we'll see. We'll see. And uh, let's get a dynamite uh, here too. God, they go really slow. I wasn't ready for that at all. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. I won't use the fart so early this time. Um, tempted to use the dynamite early-ish. Oh, actually, I should have put the dynamite closer in that moon prune there. Well, for next time. I really want to ice this guy, actually, so I'm just going to go with the dynamite. Oh, yeah, you're dead. You are dead. And, uh, yeah. Bit of a problem. Uh, oh, actually... Oh, yeah, that was fantastic. Look at this. There go. Get all them. Oh, there's not much left. There's not much left. This is fantastic. We might be able to round all these jerks up with the uh, with the farts now. We're gonna have to. We're really gonna have to. Don't want them to straggle too far. So here we go. We're gonna do it. We've got them all. We just need the catbird to go off now. This is gonna be pretty tough to time. Just take off. Come on, take off. You you got it. No, I don't want a full load. Just. Oh my god. That could have screwed us up actually. Oh no, I don't think it did though. Oh! 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 Oh, that was fantastic! We took it! We got it! That was really, really good! 162 points. 
we got an upgrade to the barricades, which is very nice. And uh, oof, we're only trailing by 327 points now. Uh, actually, I think we're going to overtake them here. So we've got way more points than they do. And we just got another territory, too. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We back on top. Oh, yeah, I think... Oh, it's going to be close now. 111 points. God, they still, they're still getting like quite a few points. But the uh, the gap is well and truly closed now, and uh, and they don't have they don't have much going on. So um, so screw them basically. Here we go. Orange, nice comic. While flying on a business trip, Animal Smith spills his orange juice. What a klutz! Two children seated behind him laugh. Oh, those bastards! You should never laugh at someone. Cool it, Smith. Not going to get mad this time. You always let yourself get angry. You always let yourself look foolish. God, this guy's got issues. But not this time, champ. See that? Just a, a quiet little word with yourself, and you can overcome all sorts of difficulties. Oh, Christ almighty, look at that. Well, the nice thing is, though, now, is that almost all of these territories are isolated, and um, it's just, just these two that are connected. So we'll try to ice one of these, probably in the next episode, actually. And, um, we're not too worried about these, because they're only 20 points each, and they can't spill out into anything else. So um, hopefully, if the loadout is good enough, which it, it seems to be, we'll, uh, we'll take one of these in the next episode. Um, that was episode 11. Again, I'm really sorry about the technical difficulties in episode 10, but uh, I, hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed it all the same. Uh, in saying that, I hope you enjoyed this episode as well, and um, stay tuned for more. Probably a couple of episodes left to go, realistically, uh, before this is done. And, um, it looks like we're going to win. Um, I don't, unless something goes horribly, horribly wrong at this point, which I don't think it can, I think we got this one in the bag. So, um, as usual, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I'll catch you for the next one.